Now it's time for James to fill another unsuspecting class. He's at another school. He's going undercover as a supply teacher to do an incredible trick. Is it your school? Is it your class? And will the class realise that their supply teacher is magic? These year six pupils say they're coming in to learn science, but this is a lesson that will get an unusual reaction. The classroom has been rigged with hidden cameras and James has got a trick that really pops. They have no idea. <laughs> We're going to do a science experiment this morning that's hopefully going to be quite fun. I'm going to use one of these. And in addition to the balloon, we're also going to be using one of these. A big needle. He's not joking, that's the biggest needle I've ever seen. James can use one because he's a trained magician. But you aren't at home, so no big needles, you hear? Now, I've got some nice gloves. I've also got these funky glasses. He may look ridiculous, but this get-up should convince the class he's a real science teacher before he does some serious magic. You might want to put your hands on your ears. One balloon plus one big needle plus hands over ears. Even I know the answer to this equation. Two, three, there he goes. The lesson started off with a bang, but soon he's going to blow their minds. We're going to try this again. Now this time, what I've got with me is I've got a very special spray. And this spray comes all the way from America. That's a big fib, James, and you know it. This is where the magic starts. And what it does is it changes all the molecules in the balloon, and therefore the balloon is not only a lot more flexible, but it's a lot stronger. So if you put a little bit of a spray on that end, I think... I'm going to let you in on a secret. That spray is really just tap water. Let's rub it in. It might take a few minutes to take effect. If this works, I should be able to push the needle all the way through the balloon without it popping. He's going to do what? That sounds impossible and the class thinks so too. But you might want to put your hands on your ears just in case. This could be an explosive trick. I'm putting ear defenders on. The deal's about to go in. It's going in and it's... How's he doing that? The needle has pierced the balloon and it hasn't popped. That's incredible, but James is not through yet. Right the way through. Yeah. Now it's come out the other side and there's still no pop. The class can't believe their eyes or ears. Now, not only that, we can pull it all the way through. Even the, the knot on the thread will go... Nobody could ever do that. It's impossible, isn't it? But it's done thanks to that spray. The needles come all the way out and the string. That's unbelievable. But is it a real balloon? I've only treated the top and the bottom of this balloon, haven't I? You've treated us, though, James, to a magic masterclass. What do you think is going to happen when I touch the needle to the side of the balloon? Do you think so? Yeah. Okay, hands on ears. One, two, three. And there it is. The balloon is real! But James is not a real teacher and he's about to blow his cover. In a normal lesson, I would have you take out your exercise book and then we would write up the experiment and say exactly what happened. But um, this isn't a normal lesson. I'm not actually a real teacher. I'm a magician. I knew it! And see that little mirrored box at the back? And this little mirror box here? And that box there? If you give them a little wave, you are currently being filmed for a new TV show on CBBC called Help My Supply Teacher Is Magic. <laughs> James's brilliant magic spray trick has totally filled the class. First, he sprayed the balloon with magic spray, which is really just tap water. I was really.